So here is a pair of uh, A6 uh, 1130, the white clay and gray colorway. And basically wanted to see what a GR version of these were like. I have the Hull Studios Glacier version already. So I just wanted to see what the difference is between the GR version and uh, material wise, it's using a lot of uh, synthetic material. I can see that. And I, I do like the kind of design of the sneaker as well. So the design is, is, is a kind of Similar to any other sort of ASICS uh, sort of runner, really. Similar to the Kayano 14, but for some reason, I do like the, the look of the Kayano 14s. And however, when trying them on feet, um, they just kind of point upwards, like in terms of the toe box. And it just, for me, I don't know, maybe it's because I've got a wide foot. It just looks weird on, on my feet. And it just that kind of sort of silhouette just doesn't kind of work in, in, in my eyes for me. Uh, I think if you've got a thin foot and you're kind of wearing the right clothing for it, it probably works, but it just doesn't look quite right. I think with this model, I think it's a bit more sort of sleeker and a bit more understated and also just probably as comfortable as well because you've got this kind of the A6 gel in the, in the back here as well. And I kind of, like I said, I like the look of this as well. It's because the back of it, it's kind of got this weird sort of wavy design sort of going through as well which is quite nice on the heel and normally you don't see that kind of stuff and it just kind of wraps all around the sneaker so it gives it kind of that sort of slightly more sort of sportier look and i do like the traction as well the traction looks like a really smart uh, way of doing it and i'm sure it's really good for uh, running back in the day and probably also good for just walking in general so it looks very cool uh, in my opinion and also like the fact that it's got ortholite insoles. It makes a hell of a difference to the shoe. So yeah, definitely worth checking out if you can. And it's nice and breathable as well. Here are the details for the A6 Gel 1130 Clay Grey. It comes in a white and clay grey colour scheme. And it has a, a gel cushioning with the EVA midsole. And it has a basically a touristic support system for stability. So that's the basically the mid plate that's in the middle of the trainer. And it has a, a synthetic and mesh upper. And the price was £95. In terms of comfort and sizing, I think these have a, a sort of more of a soft to medium sole. It has sort of good neutral support around the arch for being a runner. And there's kind of no wear in time because it's just using sort of mesh material. It's very sort of breathable and soft and pliable. And uh, I would sort of go true to size. I think the ASICs in general sort of fit very much like Nikes, so you can basically go true to size. And it has a, a good traction for a runner as well. In terms of the look and style, I think these have a, a neutral color scheme, which is uh, always nice to see, and that's kind of what attracted to me to them. I kind of like the, the, the clay gray that's on there, and this kind of sort of sail kind of uh, yellow uh, bronzy type colour that they've got going around the underneath the A6 logo and on the the, the midsole, I think it just uh, sets it off really nicely. And uh, these are sort of good for spring summer, like any other sort of mesh runner really. I think uh, no reason you can't wear them on all seasons, but if you don't want to ruin them and keep them in good good nick, then I'd probably go with sort of spring summer. And uh, I think nowadays because of the, the way this trainer is, it's very sort of sporty, sort of dressing up casual really i think uh you know going with some cargos some joggers uh just sort of simple maybe even some chinos you know just simple leave it kind of sort of simple really i think it's a, it, that's a kind of nice way to kind of wear them and uh the, basically i think uh, with the in terms of laces you can go with sort of a, a combination of, sort of different ones really so white brown uh, gray or sail i think those kind of would be would be really good the uh, reason I say brown is it kind of matches with the, 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 the plate, the TPU plate underneath and then also the kind of more of the slightly more of the browner sort of uh, hints going around the sneaker. So in terms of the final thoughts, I like the, the fact that it has sort of neutral comfort and it's, it's very sort of lightweight. With this particular sneaker, there isn't much tech in there, but it's very, very lightweight compared to other uh, runner sneakers. And the price is really good as well. So for £95, you can't really go wrong. Or uh, else a lot of the other manufacturers are charging a lot of money for sort of these types of runners. I think this this is in particular is uh, is really priced really well. But I don't really have any cons, so I think you can't go wrong with a pair of these. 
So in terms of the ratings, I give the looking style a 4. The reason being is I have a pair of the HAL Studios Glacier and uh, basically those are a 5 for me and I think these just fall slightly below that because of the materials and the sort of storytelling on the other pair. I think this pair is uh, more, of a, more of a 4 for me so it's still a nice, nice colorway and a nice looking sneaker, especially for the price. And in terms of comfort, it's a 4 out of 5. It's not like uber comfortable, so I wouldn't say it's the same as a, a 1906R, but it's kind of getting onto that sort of level, really. So it's very sort of neutral, very sort of um, low to the ground, and just uh, overall easy to wear, uh, especially all day. And the quality, I think a lot of the A6 products, I haven't had any sort of issues. I don't know that the materials aren't the most expensive, and they're, not, and they're using mainly sort of synthetic materials. However, the... The, the way they made up the panelling and that kind of stuff is just really well made. And the pricing I'll give it a 5 just because of the fact that it's a, a £95 and a lot of sneakers are now sort of creeping up above sort of £120-£140 and I think they've kind of priced this particular pair right and I expect them to sort of sell a lot more. And uh, overall I'll give it a 4 out of 5, I think it's just a really nice sneaker for uh, everyday wear really so you can't go wrong with a pair of these especially if you can pick them up on sale for like 50 60 pounds